There's no question the news business is shrinking, but that's traditional news outlets. There is a new movement that's been gaining steam from coast to coast. Small, independent, online news operations, hundreds of them, are taking off, often with journalists laid off from the large daily papers. These grassroots endeavors are testing the limits of nonprofit journalism, relying on grants and individual donors to keep their operations running. But this new experiment has hit a brick wall. Unusually long delays in being certified as nonprofits, all courtesy of the Internal Revenue Service. I hope that they are able to realize that every month they delay this process, they could kill another organization. So these are the stories that I've got um, and I can run through. I just got a call from Rick Durgan. Michael Stoll is executive director of the San Francisco Public Press a tiny nonprofit news organization in downtown San Francisco that's been waiting for more than two years for a word from the tax man. It's been 27 months uh, in three, you know, three days from now. Um, it's frustrating. He's anticipating approval of a common IRS classification called 501c3. For the San Francisco Public Press, that IRS distinction would allow them to directly accept grants, take donations, and most importantly for them, stay in business. That type of funding is crucial since their news is entirely ad-free. The San Francisco Public Press and other news outlets like it across the country are part of an experiment using nonprofit public service journalism to keep local communities informed. These new online ventures are trying to fill the gaps with investigative and community-centered news, which Stoll says is severely lacking. Business here is about as lean as you can get. Nearly everyone goes unpaid, from professional journalists to interns. It's more about passion than compensation. You really want to emphasize their face. We love what we do. <laughs> uh, it is, it's challenging. And people make a lot of sacrifices. You know, they are here because they believe in what we're doing. Nobody's getting rich off of this. Michael Stoll says it's a problem with potentially dire consequences for the future of journalism. My fear if the IRS uh, decides to severely limit the role of nonprofits in journalism across the country is that um, it's going to uh, allow the whole sector to be taken over by news organizations that have shown uh, a disregard for in-depth, serious news in the last decade as they've cut back, as they've gone more sensational, especially as their fortunes have waned uh, economically.